Hey everyone, I'm Kronos, and this is a tutorial on how to get set up to speedrun a mock runner. So the first thing we're going to do is get live split. So live split is a tool that most speedrunners use to time their runs, and you can see it with this timer right here. If you, to get it, you want to go to this website, livesplit.org slash downloads, and you can see it under the downloads column here. This is the version of live split that we want to get. So once you download it, you want to right click and click edit splits. This will pull up the splits editor for you to uh, set up your run. So right here, you want to type a mock runner for our game name. The run category doesn't matter. So uh, in this case, we're just doing any percent. And you can see that right here, it says auto splitting is available. And this uh, means that we want to use the load remover for this as well. This will allow us to time our speed run without all the load times present. So when you click activate here, uh, it should pop up with this thing that says time without loads as the main timing method, which means we want to have the load remove time. So click yes here. This will allow us to time our game using the game time. And that is technically all you need to get live split working. Uh, you can add additional splits to your run by clicking settings, and this will allow you to get the auto splitter. Uh, notice that by default, the end split is always active, so you don't need to manually start or end your run. Just let the timer do its work as you play the game. But if you want additional segments where the auto splitter will split for you for timing sections of the run, you can click edit, uh, enable auto splitter right here and select whatever segments you want to add. So for instance, if I click begin clinic, this will allow me to add the first uh, section of the game begin clinic here to our run. So when I click OK, I can now go to this table. We already have this first segment right here. Uh, it's by default because we need an end section here. So this will be the last split of our run. And we want to add another row because we added one uh, split to our auto splitter right here. And this can be our begin clinic segment. So when we click OK, everything should be working. If you want your live split to look nice, you can do edit layout and just edit whatever settings and stuff that you want to add to your live split. And yeah. So now once we get into game, I can show you how it works. So when I click new game and start it up, you'll see that the timer will start running. You can see there it goes. I didn't click any buttons or anything. This is how live split will work. So I'll go all the way through this first uh, split as well. This will show how the auto splitter works. So it will continue running the timer and by default it will split on its own once you reach the clinic. And this will happen for whatever splits that you decide to select for the auto splitter. So just make sure you have the same number of auto splits selected as the number of splits you have in your uh, timer. I think you wanted to sit alone because when you saw me, I had the feeling that you were... So I'll let this run through until I get to the clinic section. I'll leave. And that occurs right after this cutscene right here. So let me just get through this. And you can see it will automatically split for us for our first split there. Now I'll go over recording your run. So you want to download OBS. OBS is a tool that most people use to stream or record runs. So right here, you can see I have my OBS right here. Just go to the OBS download. Uh, you can search it up on the internet should just be OBS Studio. 
and uh when you open it up you should have this uh stream thing layout so here you want to have your scene this is the main scene by default you have no sources and you want to add a source right here so you want to add in this case a game capture and we're going to add uh, a mock runner it doesn't matter this is just whatever name you want and you want to capture you can capture a full screen application if you have a mock runner running full screen what i like to do is capture a specific window in this case a mock runner and you can see right there it now has a mock runner in our obs scene so that will allow us to uh, capture our gameplay to add live split to your obs scene you want to click add a uh, window capture and you're going to type in whatever it is live split and right here you can also select uh, whatever uh, application or window to use in this case just live split and it should appear on your stream like this if you want to have live split be transparent you can right click and click filter and you can select a uh, color key chroma key whatever and you can just select a custom color in this case because live split by default is black we can select the black color change whatever settings we want to have it be transparent on our screen and yeah that is all the stuff that you need by default to start recording and timing your runs hope you all enjoyed the video and yeah